Well, thank you so much for joining us, everyone. I'm Cherise Gibson. A development in Gretna will move forward despite one council member's concerns. Today, an attempt to pause the Gretna Brew Pub project by council member Jennifer Van Franken failed. Her concerns about the legality of the project and the parish's return on investment were not shared by her fellow representatives. Alyssa Curtis spent the day at the Yenny building and has more. A multi-use project in Gretna will continue after an attempt Wednesday to pause it. There's no second. The motion fails. Eventually, this lot will include a parking garage, a government kiosk, a brewery, and a taco restaurant. But Council Member Jennifer Van Vranken has expressed some concerns after a report by the Office of the Inspector General. They say parish residents aren't getting anything in return for their $10.3 million investment. I've never, ever seen something where we, the parish, incentivize to the extent of we will provide free land, we will provide the building, we will provide the equipment, you will not have to give us any base rent. But representatives from the project say Van Vrinken's concerns are not valid, saying the brewery will have to pay part of their earnings. Rent is not zero. Rent is 3% of the gross for 30 months. Tuesday, Van Vrinken asked the council to pause the project for 45 days. Well, I think the pause allows us to put it all on paper and make sure it's legal. But council member at large, Scott Walker, says the parish attorney hasn't found any illegalities in the project. Plus, Walker says every district got the same amount of money to spend how they please. For the people complaining in Metairie and Harahan and Kenner and River Ridge and anywhere else, this money was never going to be spent in those areas. This money was going to be spent on the West Bank. By the end of the meeting, Van Vrinken stood alone in her request. We don't need to make this project cost more than it needs to, and I, I don't think a pause is necessary. I'm perfectly willing to, to have people look at it. So for now, the construction at Huey P. Long and 2nd Street goes on. In Jefferson Parish, Alyssa Curtis, WWL Louisiana.